Okay, here's an underwater look at sea bass. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, nine minutes of unedited video, so you're going to see exactly what I saw as I saw it instead of uh, cutting and pasting something together. Uh, sea bass, if you move slowly, if you don't make any sudden movements, uh, you can get pretty close to them. They'll, they'll stay around. Uh, blackfish are much different in that they tend to be, uh, uh, they spook easier, so you have to uh, actually move a little faster or else they just swim out of um, the range of the camera. But if you take your time, you can get close and watch these. You might notice that they look quite a bit different than they do when you've got them out of the water in your boat, when they're jet black. Uh, below the water, they, they look different. And something else about the sea bass is that, and you'll see this a few times throughout the video, uh, once in a while you'll get one and uh, they're curious. They'll stop, they'll look right at you for a couple of seconds, and just, uh, it's like they're curious or something. Okay, I don't have too much to add. I'll just um, let this play out and point out a few things along the way. Uh, actually, um, one thing I want to point out is that the sea bass tend to hang a little bit uh, further off the structure than the blackfish and the bergals. I mean, you see sea bass right next to the structure as well, but you also see them a little bit away from the rocks. Here's one of those sea bass that's curious. He's looking right at us a few times. As with blackfish, sea bass definitely have their preferred rocks. Uh, in this particular area, there's probably six or seven good-looking rocks that look like they should hold fish, but this one particular rock always holds most of the sea bass in the area. And yet, about 75, 80 feet away from this particular rock, there's one that's just loaded with blackfish, and yet you don't see too many blackfish here.
Okay, here we're coming up on dinner. The sea bass I'll leave alone. This guy, he's going in the pot. They usually have better caves than that. Um, Usually they back off a little bit. That was a nice clean grab. I didn't get clawed. I'm checking for eggs there. If there's eggs, I gotta put them back. But no eggs, so he's dinner. like to see more lobster action, um, the night video that I've got on my YouTube channel has, a, I think, four or five lobster clips in there. At night they're out walking around, as opposed to the one you just saw that was um, underneath that ledge. If you're a surf caster, you'll probably enjoy my book. It's called uh, Season on the Edge. Uh, most of the book is about surf casting, and um, if you just Google it or look on Amazon.com, you should be able to find it. A season on the edge. So right now, I've got the camera in one hand, the lobster in the other, and I'm towing a 16-foot kayak on the surface. Another fish that wants to look at the camera. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, nine minutes underneath Long Island Sound.